We've made it about three quarters of the way across from Washington back over to Oregon. When you get about this far across the short segment of the bridge, about three quarters of the way, you're gonna run into two different sandbars. We have the sandbar coming in from Desdemona Sands up here to your east, and then you have the sandbar that's right up along the bridge as it starts to gain back elevation going into Oregon. So what you do when you get here to this part of the bridge, if you look directly over there towards Oregon, you'll see Aster Column. All you have to do is once you're traveling along the bridge, just stay within 20 yards of the bridge from Washington all the way over here. Once you get three quarters of the way across, turn the bow of the boat right at Aster Column and you can get across. However, I will suggest that you do this very slowly. This sandbar changes every single year. So make sure you go slow and create a good path that you can trust each time that you cross from Oregon to Washington and back. A lot of folks like to trust their graph, especially the maps that come preloaded onto their, onto their screens. However, these are not accurate. Again, the sands change quickly every single year. Right now, it's showing me that we're on top of dry land. I'm actually in about 20 feet of water. So the best thing to do is to create that path that you know and that you can trust looking at your slug trail on your screen and knowing exactly where you can go back and forth between Oregon and Washington. Again, go slow the first time, keep an eye on your depth, save that track, and then you can always safely get across from Oregon to Washington and back. And that will also help you when the fog rolls in because when it does, you're not always able to see Astor Column.